Hello everyone, in continuation with my previous lectures on kinematics of the manipulator. So today we are going to discuss one example in which uh, we are going to consider the kinematics of a manipulator. So we have already gone through the basic fundamentals of the kinematics in which we have already uh, consider the case of the the relationship between the adjacent links and the mapping between the different frames we have already considered. So today uh, let's consider one example of a three degree of freedom manipulator. So in this uh, three degree of freedom manipulator, so uh, we have one example in which the uh, the manipulator. So this part is uh, a base of the part manipulator, which is the fixed part. And this is the first link which is placed over the base and this link is able to rotate in uh, any of the direction like this theta 1. So this link is further connected with another link in which this last link is connected. So this joint, this joint and this joint are a revolute joint and this joint is a prismatic joint in which the, the point P is the point of interest whose position and the orientation we want to find out. So the, this diagram is showing clearly the, this distance from the, the base part of the frame to, to this part is denoted as a x2 and this distance which is the offset distance from the center of uh, this link to the center of uh, this joint is denoted as a xi. Similarly the displacement of the prismatic motion is denoted by the, the variable d3. So in this case the first we have to clearly define the diagram and to identify the link frame uh, uh, links and the joints. So this joint is our base part and this is uh, uh, the sometime is known as the base part and it is termed as a as the link zero. So uh, this this part is our first joint and first link. So this one is our uh, link 1 and uh, this joint is our uh, the first joint 1. Similarly, uh, this joint is uh, denoted as a uh, joint 2 and this one is prismatic joint is denoted as a joint 3 and similarly the, this one is the third link which is connected here. So after uh, clearly identifying the, the variables like the theta 1 is the rotation of a link 1 in any of the direction. Similarly, the theta 2 is denoted as the variable for this link 2 and d3 is the displacement are the three different variables for this three degree of freedom manipulator. So one variable is theta 1, another is theta 2, another is the, the d3. So now the, the next task is to find out the various frames. So we already know that we have to sign a zero frame on the base which is aligned with the first link. So here this frame is a zero frame and this frame is supposed to be frame 1. So the first step is to identify the frames on the different parts of the physical structure of the manipulator and the first, the, the first part is to assign the z axis on each coordinate. So the first part in which the first we are looking here is the first link which is rotating in, in this way with the angle of a theta 1. So the, uh, we are defining this, uh, this coordinate as a, as a z coordinate and the rotation is uh, denoted here is a, is a theta 1 and this is another frame, the frame 1 is lying here in which we are defining this is our, uh, this is our z0, this is going to be z1 and uh, third one is our z3 because this one is a frame 3 and we are assigning this frame 4 here. So we are just assigned the z frame, uh, z uh, coordinate in which the rotation is around the z axis for revolute here, rotation around the z axis for revolute here and the approaching vector here, the approaching vector for our prismatic is denoted as a z4. With, with the, so in this diagram the origin of the frame 1 and uh, frame 2, okay, the frame 1 and frame 2, uh, uh, excuse me, this is frame 2, this is frame 3, and this is So the region of frame 1 and frame 2 is the same region, 
So the uh, then we have to assign the x axis. So the x axis here is for x zero. So it is in a line with the x one, with x two, and x three in order to make this manipulator at a home position. So after homing, so we need to find out all the parameters which in which we are going to uh, find out the relationship between the the uh, ith frame and i minus one frame. So in this case, so before that, we have to also assign the y axis, which is orthogonally can be placed either on this direction or on a that direction. So in this case, so right now, so we are going to uh, find out the the important parameters, important variables like uh, ai, di, uh, ai alpha, I, di, and theta. I. So we already know that the AI is a link length. So in this case, it is the distance measured about the x-axis from the point of intersection of a i-th frame to i minus one frame. So in this case, our uh, the, this length is denoted as a x one. If you clearly identify the definition of a AI and you compare this frame with this frame, you can find out this is equal to the x i. Similarly, the alpha i is the angle measured about this axis x-axis. In a right hand sense with respect to this zi and uh, z0 so it is the positive 90 because this z axis is rotated in this direction from here to here so it is uh, plus 90 then di is the offset uh, distance here is uh, is the x2 and theta 1 is the variable for the, the this link 1 so here the the, oh, the variable is our uh, the theta 1 and we are uh, writing here the cosine of a theta 1, uh, sine of a theta 1 by putting this value here and this is our first row is defining the sum of the parameter which are required to find the kinematic analysis. Similarly for these two uh, frames, for this frame and this frame, for link 2 we are uh, defining the, uh, the parameters for link 2 and for link 3 we are defining these parameter and finding out these parameter by uh, uh, looking the actual definition of AI, alpha I, uh, and DI. So because we have already assigned the, the frame, so in order to find out the exact uh, AI, DI, so it is important to note down the definition of all AI and DI once again. What is the relationship between the X and Y and, uh, and the other uh, coordinates? So in the next uh, uh, section, so uh, for example, from the previous section, we have already defined the cosine of theta 1, sine of theta 1, and alpha of theta 1, and sine of alpha i. Uh, then, this is cosine of alpha i. So, we have taken all these value from the previous table, which we already discussed right now. And we already know that this one is our generalized homogeneous transformation equation, which is which has defined by combining all the parameters uh, through the relationship of the adjacent links. So this equation is very important to find out the relationship between the i-th frame to i minus 1th frame. So the, it is defining the relationship between the two different links which are joined to each other. So here the same which we are finding out. So it is these parameters like cosine of uh, theta i we are putting the value of uh, this one in this equation. So it is the c1 Similarly, this value is going to be a zero here, okay, when we are putting this value and overall uh, transformation from frame zero to frame one and from link zero to link one is this one. So the next is to again uh, take these parameters from link two and find out this, put these all these parameters into the generalized equation and to get the transformation from link one to two or frame frame one to two. So finally, so uh, we have to uh, compute all these uh, three overall transformation and we already know that in order to find out the, the overall transformation so we need to uh, multiply uh, this equation with this equation and its resultant is to multiply it with this equation. So when we multiplied the first equation with second equation and its, uh, its result is uh, finally multiplied with the, with the last one and uh, con in conclusion we get this equation is the total transformation. So this equation is showing the, the kinematic uh, 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 analysis and uh, in this case the, uh, this uh, 3 by 3 uh, uh, 
uh, matrix okay so this 3 by 3 matrix is uh, showing the orientation of the tool point P so this 3 by 3 matrix is showing the orientation of the tool point and this uh, vector is showing the position of the point P in the three dimensional space which was the required so uh, this was very important to uh, the equation to uh, to know the the direct kinematics of the manipulator if you want to find out the inverse kinematic so uh, in order to find out the inverse kinematic you have to equate this equation with another generalized equation which will we will discuss later on so thank you very much for your kind attention thank you